Hey everybody, it's Holly here today with a new video for Marker Pop. We're going to be starting out using a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock and the My Favorite Things Blueprints 27 Dynamics. I'm just using the scallop frame from the set and then also I'll be using one of the long banners from the set as well. So I'm going to start out by die cutting the frame. And I'm just going to run that through my Big Shot. And then I'm going to use the Big Hugs die from My Favorite Things as well. I'm going to go ahead and line that up into the center of the white panel. And I'm going to use a ruler to make sure that's straight. Then once I have it in the position where I want it to be, I'm going to go ahead and tape it down with some washi tape. And when you're using the washi tape, you want to be careful and make sure you deep sticky it as much as you can because it stuck to my paper a little bit. So a large opening piece like this you want to make sure it's not going to pull anything up. So once I have that down, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and run that through my Big Shot. And that's going to cut the uh, sentiment out from the center of the panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Doodlebug 6x6 paper pad Spring Things. And I'm going to use that so that you can see it sticking out from behind the hugs sentiment. This paper has a lot of cute little springtime Easter-y images, so I'm just going to figure out which one works the best to go with the, to kind of stick out through the sentiment there. I actually ended up choosing a green piece that has some designs on it with a light green background and a dark green is what the images are drawn in as a dark green. It has little birds and bees. So I thought it looked pretty cute with the birds I'm going to be using. So once I have the paper I'm going to use, I just go ahead and pull that out and then I'm going to just trim it up to fit behind the sentiment so it sticks out through the window. You could also make this a shaker card by adding some foam adhesive and lifting that panel up and putting some sequins and stuff behind it. That would be kind of cute too. But for today I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it directly down to the panel. I was making some tick marks on my pattern paper and then I'm just going to go ahead and trim that up. I need a little shorter than what the opening is or what the actual panel is so I can save on the paper. So I'm going to add some thin adhesive around the opening of the words. Those thin little parts that are in between the letters there. Make sure it adheres very well. If I did this again, I would add some liquid glue um, in between the H and the U there where there's a really thin line. So once I had it down on my paper, it didn't stick very well. <laughs> so it was kind of bubbling up some. So once I have that down, I'm going to go ahead and take the stamps that I'm using is from Your Next Stamp. And I'm using the Word Critters Gardening Birds and the Coordinating Dies. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp two of the birds using Lawn Fawn's Black Ink. This is the new uh, Jet Black Ink that's safe for Copics. And I'm going to stamp that onto some Nina Solar White cardstock. And I went ahead and stamped them twice just to make sure I had a backup in case I needed it. And then I started out with some blue Copic markers in the video here, but I ended up not using the image at the end. But I'm starting out with B02, B04, and B16 to color in the birds' bodies. And then I used Y17 for the, the beaks. And then for the bellies, I used C00, C1, and C3. Just add a little bit of shading into the belly areas there. Now I have uh, different color birds that I actually end up using. I end up matching the paper. So for those ones, I ended up using, you'll see them at the end, but you won't see me color them in the video. It was kind of an afterthought. So I used BG0000, BG10, and BG11 for the birds' bodies. And then I switched it up and used N0. N1, N3 for the bellies. And then for the little boots the bird had on, I went ahead and used a mixture of green 
to coordinate with that pattern paper. So I used YG01, YG03, and YG25. And then a helpful hint is if you have the Copic hex chart by Sandy Alnock, or you have a Copic coloring chart from Copic or any kind of coloring chart to help you with your uh, Copics, you can actually take the color chart and hold it up against your piece of paper you're trying to match like I'm doing here, and that will give you an idea of what colors you can use together to kind of match your paper. You won't always find the perfect match, but uh, you can get pretty close by using your hex chart. And this hex chart from Sandy Alnock is the best color chart to have. I think it far surpasses the Copic one. So I'm going to go ahead and color in the little sh uh, booties there on the one bird, and then I'm going to run that through my big shot using the coordinating dies. Um, the cord Your Next Stamp is new to the Marker Pop store. Unfortunately, we don't carry the dies in the store, um, but the stamp set is available. So doing the same thing I did with the hugs is I'm just going to add some washi tape. Again, want to make sure you de-sticky the washi tape, like put it on the back of your hand or a piece of your clothing just once to kind of take some of that adhesive away so it doesn't tear at your paper. So once I have them where I want them, I'm going to go ahead and run that through the big shot. And then I'm not sure what happened, but I'm missing part of the video where I actually created the card base, but it's just a piece of eight and a half by 11 Nina Solar White cardstock cut in half and then folded um, long ways horizontally to make the card base. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through the paper pad and find another piece of paper that I can use to kind of frame the hugs panel. And what I decided to do was use this piece that has a ball jar with some bugs in it. I don't take the panels out and use them in frames or anything like that. So for me, I just try to use as much of the paper as I can. So I'm going to basically trim it down to five and a half by four and a quarter. So it covers the entire card front, but I'm going to do it in a way where the hugs panel is going to actually cover up that ball jar in the center. So you don't see it. So you just see the background. So once I have that all trimmed up, I went ahead and adhered the pattern paper panel to a white card base. I'm missing the entire clip from where I finished the card and stamped the sentiment. So what I did is I used the banner die from the Blueprints 27 and I cut out an additional piece of that pattern paper we used behind the hugs panel. And I stamped the sentiment on it with the same jet black ink from Lawn Fawn. And then I just adhered the little birds with some foam tape. And then I added some sparkling clear sequins from Pretty Pink Posh to finish it off. And then here are those original birds that I colored. You could just save them for another project. So anyway. Hope you guys like this card. Have a great week, and I will see you next month. Thanks. Bye-bye.